Texture packs for Minecraft 1.21.1. Let's jump into it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below because you're going to need to download a texture pack. And there you will find this, which is our list of the best texture packs for Minecraft 1.21. And uh, it goes over awesome texture packs from medieval texture packs like John Smith to more cartoony style packs like Bare Bones to even, you know, Faithful, which keeps things true to Minecraft and more faithful to the vanilla experience while increasing the resolution and textures just a bit. There are a ton of amazing packs here that you can choose from so let's go ahead and uh, grab a few of them here specifically we'll go ahead and grab a realistic pack we'll also grab the pack that we grabbed there which was faithful itself and uh maybe a medieval pack as well let's go ahead and, and grab a medieval pack up here at the top specifically john smith legacy super popular medieval pack now on our website some of the texture packs will actually link you to our in-depth guide on those and then you can click the download for each specific pack for in this case John Smith Legacy and it will take you to the official download page. Now there's usually a few different places you'll download texture packs from. One is from the basically website of the texture pack in our case here John Smith Legacy. If we scroll down we'll be able to see Minecraft Java 1.21.1 so we can just go ahead and click the download link here and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file. Another popular pace is going to be CurseForge which is where we're going to be getting Faithful. So if you come here on our website and click download it will take you to CurseForge which is Faithful's official download page. Same thing here we can click on files and it is worth noting that with Faithful you are actually downloading the Minecraft 1.21 version and that's okay because any Minecraft 1.21 21 pack will work in Minecraft 1.21.1 without any issues whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and download this version here and click download. Go ahead and wait for this to download. And while it's downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the next YZ says SGA to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily have mods, plugins, mod packs, or even resource packs to your server and truly customize the server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and host your server this simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown that xyz slash sgh nevertheless we want to go ahead and keep or save faithful here depending on your browser and then another place this is on curseforge but is modernth and modernth is super popular for downloading texture packs here's an example of some of the texture packs that are on modernth here for example bare bones i'll actually go ahead and grab bare bones for this because it's on modernth so on modernth you want to go to versions here and then what you'll want to do is find the version that you want in our case that's going to be 1.21 which is right up here at the top as you can see the 1.21 version here Click the download button on the right hand side and the download will begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep or save it. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser and it is time to go ahead and get these installed. How do we do that? Well, we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft here. And while Minecraft's opening, we also want to make sure we can access the files. For me, they went to our downloads folder here. I'm going to move them to the desktop just for ease of use. But you can keep the files anywhere that you want. You just want to make sure you can drag and drop them whenever it is time to do that. When is it time to do that? Well, once Minecraft's open like this. So go ahead and click on options here, and then you want to go into resource packs. Again, from the Minecraft main menu, go to options, resource packs, and then click open pack folder in the bottom left. Finally, drag and drop the resource packs you want to install into this resource packs folder. And in the background, boom, they pop in right like this. To activate them, simply hover over them and click the arrow to move them to the selected section. When you click done, Minecraft will reload with your texture pack active. We can see that with bare bones here when it says bare bones at the top, but the menu buttons are a bit different and we can jump in game, obviously on a simple game hosting server to check this out. So once we're in game, we'll be able to see the texture pack is active. And by the way, there's some things you should know about texture packs as well. Let me show you what I mean. So in game, bare bones is active, but you can actually change texture packs in game by hitting escape, going to options, resource packs, and then moving this from selected over into available. Then we could activate faithful by moving that from available over to selected and clicking done. Now, in some cases, though, you'll have a texture pack that might not have every texture. That's not necessarily the case with these packs that we're looking at, but an example would be a weapon pack. What if you wanted to use a weapon pack, but also use faithful? Well, in that case, what you would do is go into resource packs here and, for example, in this case with John Smith, we'll move it over to selected and put it above Faithful. If we put it under Faithful, Faithful's textures would show, and then any textures Faithful doesn't have, it would show John Smith textures for, and then obviously any that uh, that doesn't have would show default. If we flip this around and say John Smith is a weapons pack, it would show the weapons from the weapons pack, and then every other texture would be Faithful, and then everything else would be vanilla textures. So that's how you can add weapons packs and things like that, or weapons textures over existing resource packs. Super great, and a super great way to like change things up but here is john smith in game and working if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below we will see you in the next video and i'm out peace